So you, you said originally you got it from your grandpa? My uncle. Your Ooh. uncle. Yeah, okay. yeah, and I must have been seven. I'm 37, so it must have been well, 30 I mean, years ago or so. I wonder if that date represents, um, that's what I'm thinking that it's probably 50s and 60s. I wonder if that date actually represents the model of the actual It could truck. be. He, um, he made all sorts of stuff in his in his workshop. He even made me a, like a like a like a pedaling biplane yeah. too. But I think you know, I mean, on this side it's missing the hop cap. But I think this was originally actually made and available. I think it was not like custom made by him. Mm -hmm. uh, might have added eventually over the years. At the know. very least, he he put my name on the side. Yeah. Well, that's, that's my that's name. Cool. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> too, so that's why that's why, why, why he wants it, right? It's so cool. <laughs> so. Um, it is a cool piece. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just been, my, actually, my, my wife, she was like, oh, no, no, don't get rid of it. And I'm like, you know what, it just, it's time. It just needs to go. Oh. So, get out of no, it's okay. <laughs> Somebody else can enjoy it. Great. 60 bucks. Thank I you so much. It. Yeah, Thank appreciate you. it, too. See you next time. You want the copy of this, or you don't care? She All said right. she paid, like, back in the day, like, around a grand. Fire Chief, what do you call her? Fire, Fire, Fire Chief, Chief, Kitty. Oh, so cute. Oh, my God, that's adorable. What you doing in there? That's a perfect picture. What you doing? Oh she, she was rubbing her face next to your mail, just you know, like. Hey. Yeah. Oh so I God. think this is an add-on. The original truck is up to here. His grandfather oh, somehow like added it. the back, oh. added these with the, the letter. Stuff, everything? Yeah, because the wheels are not aligning. They oh. should be forward. Oh, she got scared. Yeah. So besides the cool truck that I just got, which says, I gotta show you guys, it says Fire Chief Pete on it, I had to buy it. <laughs> there was no question about this. Very cool piece, definitely vintage. But Ryan bought this cool uh, suitcase, kind of portable speaker deal back in the day. Yeah. Like, like Bluetooth cassette. <laughs> Bluetooth cassette. What, what it is, this is or old from 70s General Electric tape player here. Maybe early 80s, but I'm thinking more like 70s. And of, of course, you put your batteries in here, then you don't have to use the power cord. But this suitcase here, it's designed to carry 12 cassettes on each side. So you get your playlist with you on a road and this is actually a speaker in here with a little cable this thing comes with all the original paperwork for it too which is pretty cool the whole thing is not worth a whole lot of money this is maybe like the player's 20 30 dollar item but this i think adds a lot of value to be honest with you as much as i as long as i've been selling electronics vintage stuff mm -hmm. i never seen one I only seen them on a picture. Yeah. So this is pretty cool. You plug it in here on the side. Instant yeah. party. Instant party on a road. You're tailgating. All right, honey? Oh, crank it up. That's my jam. <laughs> now it's gone. Voice of a goddess. Oh, this is so funny. Now, they, the thing they didn't think about, when you plug in this cable, for the speaker right here you can not actually drop this in again because there's no slot on the side for it to fit in so they didn't think about that but anyway still a very cool piece interesting contraption love it you got only one battery with this right yeah one battery okay I mean, what are, you, what are you thinking? What do you want to get out of this? Four. Any idea? You can make a lot of money on it if you give me four for it. Plus you got two more attachments you can sell separately or sell with the unit. Make some more money off of it. Because it's all about the condition I see. They're kind of all over the place, you know? Mm -hmm. So like, I see one here. Uh, one attachment charger battery sold for eight. This one sold for seven with the battery. Here's one for six, but no battery, I think. Just one attachment. It looks like shit, too. That one looks beat up. Yeah, yeah. it looks horrible. So, 
What do you think I can get out of a M12? Like a the M12s go because for I see these like they're hundred bucks. Yeah, you know the M18 for that yeah. one. This one brand new is almost five hundred bucks, but you can guarantee you can get two hundred dollars for that used. Yeah. And look at the condition; it's it's never even yeah, used. Yeah, no, this looks clean. It looks clean, and this one looks clean too. And that one I looked up; it's two hundred dollars on Amazon. It's three hundred and thirty. I mean, Milwaukee stuff. I mean, it's up there. It's always up there, you know. Yeah. So everything seems to work good. All right, that's fine. I'll do four hundred. Thank you, you so it. much, man. You got it. it helps I me do, make ends meet. So that I do. Good. I do need your ID. Oh, so let me go grab truck. it from the truck. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'll be right with you. Okay. No worries. It's your copy. 100, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400. Okay? Awesome. Thank Thanks, you so man. much. I'll yeah, call you uh, Wednesday next week. There's our phone number on the receipt, so Perfect. just call anytime. Okay, thank okay? you so much. You're welcome. This is one of those portable ones. Oh, this is for ice, but no, this is for a boat. Yep. Okay. I saw the bag, I thought it was like a portable unit. Yeah, you no, can... it's it's brand freaking new, man. Um, got everything, literally, it's brand freaking new. Marionics car, yeah, okay. Quick 7. Well, this, this is a hook 4. You're showing me hook 7 here. Totally different unit. That's oh. for the boat. This is the portable unit, oh, actually. Oh, I got you. Is there two units there or just one? No, just one. Um, I'm not sure that transducer is designed for the boat. This well, bag is designed for carrying it by itself. Um, this is actually a bracket for the seven. Yeah, it, I thought it had a seven in it. Well, I guess not. I guess it's just got the four. Yeah, I wish it was a seven because obviously a lot more money, you know? Bigger unit, bigger screen. I do need your ID so I can write you up. Let me go snag it out of the car. All right. I guess he decided to bring. I guess he decided to bring more stuff. Yeah, I feel like this is all your stuff. Uh, this is this is like going through my boat. Are you giving up on fishing or what? What's going on, man? I inherited a uh, fuckload and I already have a toolbox or a tackle box full of shit. I see. Gotcha. So this is like overload. It's like I don't have anywhere. There's no way I'm gonna use all this shit, and I don't. I don't need this much shit. So it's a mix know. of everything here. I see. You know, you got some. I got a jig fuck. heads. You got some uh, rattle baits. Yep. Everything is labeled. I got top water shit. Um, this is all top water. Poppers here, I see. Yeah. Bunch of Rapalas in there. Yeah. There's some in here too. Medium Rapalas. We got a shitload of spinners. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of everything. Top water spinners here. <laughs> Boom! I got a bunch of <laughs> shit. And I, I, I feel like there's nothing I can do here. I don't know anything about this stuff. And then I got. I got a fishing chair too. It's never been used. Okay. It's just one of those that you put on a bench and squeeze it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. on a rowboat. Yep. A bunch of musky stuff here. Yeah, buddy. Oh. There he goes. <laughs> yeah, good luck, Frank. You're sticking your fingers out. No, in there. no, no, I'm not <laughs> sticking in there. I have actually a very similar box. That's a problem with them. If you drop something, I, and I got needle pliers, you know, that I grab them out yeah. when they go I down. Got I got them right here. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> if you need them. Yep, yep. I mean, they're used, but they're definitely not abused. A lot of them are pretty, pretty clean, I see, you know? Like this yeah. was probably never hit the water looking at the tail on it, you know? No. Nope. So a lot of it hasn't. 
Yeah, because a lot of these, a lot of these that I have been finding. You already got that one. Yeah, it's stuck on the bottom. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, what are you thinking? What do you want to get out of them? I mean, it's... I know it's worth a shitload of money, but I don't know... Especially the musculars, yes, they were, they're they up there, you know? But like, box like this of jackets, yeah, it's still worth money, but it's not yeah. big money, you know? I don't know if you had people that come in and they're like, all right, I can buy an assortment, because that's... See, yeah. I, 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 sell, I try to sell, like, look at that box, I'm asking for the whole box, $50, right. $40, $20, depends on the size, like... This box right here, it's completed with about 100 rulers on both sides, mixed, of a little bit of everything. Right. And I'm basically asking like a buck or two a piece if somebody wants to take one individually, but I would rather sell the whole thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's why I'm um, saying I got like literally over 100 Rapalas and then lured, uh, musky lures. What do you um, want to get out of this for everything? What are you thinking? Well, I was shooting for like 400. At least, at least 400. I was wanting five. So yeah, that's. And I was, I was saying maybe uh, five, and I'll throw in the chair too. You know what? I'm not saying it's a, it's a wrong number, but I think it's a little bit too high for me. I. I need to make money on this stuff. You know what I mean? Yep. And if I throw this box out there for like 45 bucks. Right. At $500, if I pay you 500 bucks for this, there's not enough meat on the bone for me to make money here. Um, Even with the chair? I mean, I still got a lot of shit that's in the box and brand new. A couple of them here, you yeah. know, but. So, um, one other thing, I got, I got one more box to sweeten the deal. It'll probably, let me bring the other box in. Bring it in. So Let's see like... how sweet it's gonna be. All right, it's fucking loaded, so it's a, it's a good one. These are what, like 15, 30 a piece? Or Depends. Right? So like this, for example, this one right here would be like $12. But this one right here, like this, this will be like 16 bucks, you know. So it all depends on 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 on, on the particular uh, brand and how big it is. Right. And I got a box of spinners to throw in there. I got at least another 40 or follows in here. All brand new shit on here. This is all brand new. Brand new Rapalas. One, two. This is a mountain of brand new. Yeah, I see it. I see it. If you gotta get that grub down. Spinners here. So yeah, I got probably another 15 in the box Rapalas down here. Yeah, I see Rapalas and an original made for Best Pro. Uh, let me think about this for a second. And the chair too. You might be able to get it. I get it, I get it, but uh, so I'm, I'm, the way I'm looking at it, certain stuff, you know, like um, a box like this of just skirts and stuff, it's not gonna bring a whole lot of money, you know? But the box like this, when you have a bunch of poppers and real Right, blades and stuff, it will. I tried to only bring you real shit because I had 15 but, bucks of the garbage, so. But I, even if, let's say, even if I get like 50 bucks a box like this, if I got 10 of them, that's $500, yep. you know what I mean? And you yep. asking like 500, you know what I mean? So it's not. Well, You're not would, a lot of meat on the bone, but um, the only reason I was even shooting for five is because I know between the musky lures and the Rapalas themselves, just, just the actual Rapalas and then the Bass Pro shit, just in that, just in lures, yeah. you're looking at $400, easy. So everything else is pretty much just meat on the ball. 
See, usually what I try to do here, at least double my money on the shelf. I'm with you. You know what I mean? So if I if I pay you 500 bucks for this, there's no way I'm getting a thousand out of this. There's just no way. I, it's, right. TV. Yeah, a few here that are new, I could maybe separate and throw them individually for a few dollars. And But the rest of the stuff... You do 450 I'll do 450 with the transducer. Like I said, $550 for that fish finder, I mean. And I'll do 400 bucks on this, but I don't want to go any higher. I can't. It's just... I'm not going to make any money here. All right, let's do that. Let's do 450 you know, that way it's, it makes sense for me, you know, so, and don't get me wrong, I would love to sell these individually for $15 a pop and make yeah. all the money, but that's not how it works usually, you know, yeah. the guy is going to come in and he's going to tell me, okay, this one goes for 12 bucks, I'll give you five, six dollars, you know what I mean, so, right, all right, for 50. Got it. So we had a kind of major project today, see this, my AC unit started leaking well not the ec on it the pan that it's uh collecting the water from the ac unit the ac unit is on a roof the furnace it's up there in the ceiling and there's a condensation pan that catches the water and drain pipe goes off and it started leaking for the last last i don't know a week or so slow drip bigger 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 and today morning we came in and there was a huge puddle back here and the whole ceiling completely collapsed and came down. So <clears throat> it's been 90 degree weather plus here every day for the last couple of weeks in Chicago. So that unit has been working very heavy. But what happens is, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a white pipe and they're right in that spot that goes that way, cuts all the way here against the wall, runs here. And then again, it cuts in inside the wall and actually comes out here. See that pipe? And goes behind this curtain to the slap sink right there. And it's dripping there right now at the bottom. Well, that was the problem. That drain pipe, who knows when it was serviced last time. And uh, it was completely clogged up. So me and Ryan had to remove all the tiles here cut that pipe out, clean it out, because we try to uh, push like a router thing through it and too many 90 degree angles. One here, one there, one here, another one here, then over there, and uh, it was completely clogged up. So it took us a couple hours, we got it all done, and now it's dripping, and the, well, it's dripping at the slap sink, and the water is not dripping here anymore, it's not overflowing, so I feel, uh, I feel very accomplished. There's always something when you're running a shop like this, you know? If it's not a lock, it's a safe. If it's not heat, it's cold, it's lights. It's always something that you have to constantly maintain and fix.